Now Michael McLay. I'd like to call the attention of the committee to uh, the report from um, Oak Ridge National Laboratories on molten salt reactors, history, status, and potential that was uh, published in 1969. Uh, if you read the last concluding paragraphs of the intro of this, of this report, it basically talks about how the molten salt reactor technology could be configured as either a converter or a breeder, which means that you could use it to actually burn nuclear waste, um, turn it into something other than something less toxic and has a shorter half-life, um, much more easily um, disposed of, um, and also much smaller. So instead of looking at the um, waste fuel that's been piled up as a, a waste, we can move it back over into the fuel column and fuel these kinds of re reactor technologies. These reactors are um, basically passively uh, designed, so uh, they automatically shut down if um, something goes wrong with the system. As a matter of fact, the way that works is there's a tube that has a, a piece of frozen sol uh, the solvent that is in the, the liquid uh, reactor. It's frozen in a tube at the bottom. If the power goes out, that tube dissolves and the liquid all just goes down into a tank below, hand, below, below the reactor. So it's a, a very nice design. Um, and in fact, the, uh, the engineers at Oak Ridge who designed this and the physicists uh, basically did this every weekend because they didn't want to stay around for the reactor on the weekend, so they turned the switch off on the fan. The um, plug would melt and the stuff would go into it. So it's been tested thousands of well, hundreds of times anyway. Um, it's a very nice, simple system. Um, now, this re research was conducted, um, well, this report was from 1969, so we've been sitting on this technology for 40 years. And now what's happening? China is investing a billion dollars in this technology because they got our reports off of, uh, well, a website that has all the reports on it, and they're going off to Im implement this technology. So we could replace the current technology with a breeder um, converter reactors that could be converted into breeder reactors and burn up the fuel um, that's sitting on, um, in as waste right now, burn it up as fuel instead. So. That's basically the, the, oh, and one other thing I wanted to mention. Um, you missed a really great opportunity yesterday. The uh, Energy Thorium Alliance had a meeting, a conference here, where we talked about this. Um, I think, Perwith, you were there? Um, and uh, it was a really um, in interesting meeting. Of, uh, it's a, a really vibrant community. Uh, Kirk Sorison's in the audience. He's got a website called Energy from Thorium. I think he's given a talk um, presentation before this committee before. And I em emphasize this is technology that could solve problems instead of having everybody sit here saying, well, what are we going to do about the problems? Build these reactors to burn the um, fuel. Um, we get more energy out of it instead of putting in a hole. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. McClay.